Hey guys, show with Custom Offsets, Custom Offsets TV on the YouTube. Got a 2005 GMC Sierra 1500 Spotlight for you. She's gonna be on six inches of lift, some 20 by 12s, and some 35s. Let's go! Okay, y'all, like I said, it's a 2005 GMC Sierra 1500. Just about everything is done on this truck, so we'll go front to back. But first, let's do the usual wheels, tires, and suspension. Like I said, it's got a six inch Rough Country lift on it, so you'll see the uh, Rough Country shocks up here in the front. Got some fancy blue boots on there. And then same thing in the rear. You'll see the Rough Country hiding inside there. And then as far as wheels and tires, they're gonna be the uh, 20 by 12, negative 44 offset fuel cleaver. And you'll notice that it's a two piece wheel. You got the bolts on the back here. It's got the chrome center and then the black barrel on it. We'll do the build test on the 12 wides. Between the spokes, you're at about that five and three quarter, almost a full six inch lip. Out in front of that spoke, you're probably looking more at about five maybe just short of five inches. So definitely plenty of lip. And for these big giant thick spokes, that's what's eating some of that up. And then because it's two piece, it's got this um, thick section here where it's bolting together. That's what's eating some of that lip, but still pretty decent, you know, just over five inches. Typically you're looking for like five to six inches on a 12 inch wide wheel. And then it's wrapped in the Mickey Thompson 35, 12 and a halfs. So you'll see that you got plenty of sidewall because you're a 20 on 35s. And then as far as fitment, and those are the uh, MTZs, the P3s. For the fitment, he rubs pretty bad in the back, also in the front. He took a crack at trimming it, but we're gonna go in and clean all that up tomorrow. We just won't have time to uh, do the video tomorrow, so I wanted to get you guys this full spotlight. But know that what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in here and clean this up significantly. And then in the back, we'll do a NorCal to make room back here because he's smacking into this um, fender flare and also into the back here. So we'll do a NorCal and um, turn that underneath and give him some clearance so that he can turn. Because even with a six inch, the 12 wides and the 35s combined, the Chevys have a hard time with it. Actually, 33s will hit without some um, trimming and clearance. So front to back, Walter, there's gonna be about 5,000 things on here. So we'll just start at the beginning. It looks like about an 18 inch light bar up front on the bull bar. And then he's got an aftermarket chrome grill on there. He's got the layover grill on the front with the rivet style mesh, and then the uh, chrome bug deflector. I believe almost every part on this truck has been gone through. And then you'll see it's got the cowl hood. So if you look at the back side here, you'll see it's about a probably about a four inch cowl hood. And then it's got the 50 inch curved light bar up top with a real low profile mount. So you'll see these mounts hug real tight. There's not a lot of space between there and it also brings it down and forward, which looks pretty good. And then aftermarket tow mirrors. He went with the chrome style with the smoked LED lenses. And then you'll see the chrome carry into the handles. It's got the handle covers. And then it's got the pocket style fender flares. Um, looks like just the, uh, or the eBay aftermarket. I don't know what the name brand is on them. I couldn't find a name brand on them, but just a little lower cost pocket self wear. And then he's got the three inch step tubes. 
the AVS window visors. Like I said, pretty much everything is done in this truck. Looks like somebody did the bed liner down on the bottom to try to help out with some of the rust. Up here in Wisco, these tr trucks, as they get older, they really get beat up. You'll see the pocket flares again back here. And then in the rear, he's got the LED tail lights. Probably just an eBay aftermarket tail light, which we've had pretty good luck with them. If you stick with like the Anzos and the Spiders and whatnot. And then third brake light, same thing. You'll see the tailgate chrome covers and then the duals coming out of the uh, muffler with the 45 inch tips on it. You'll see the headlights are an aftermarket LED projection halo. All the bells and whistles and it looks like he swapped out the fog bulbs with LED. So he really did a good job of going through and cleaning everything up on the truck. And then interior, same thing. Super clean for the age. Looks like he did a complete mat on the entire floor to get rid of the carpet. Or that might be how the work truck used to come. I have no idea. I've not seen a older work truck. And then complete leather replacement for the seats, front and back. And then you see he's got an aftermarket head unit. It's got blue LEDs throughout on the inside. Everything's just mega clean. Super good looking truck. So there she is, your GMC Sierra 1500 on six inches of lift, some 20 by 12 fuel cleaver, two pieces and some 35 by 12 and a half.